Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. I've got a real heavyweight for you today. This is Federal Power Shock 300 grain jacketed hollow point in 450 Bushmaster. And here is the box for that heavyweight Federal 300 grain Power Shock jacketed hollow point load out of the 450 Bushmaster. Let's take a look at the back. Here is some promo info if you'd like to stop, pause, and read all that. Go ahead, here is your ballistics information. They're claiming 1,900 foot per second at the muzzle with this big 300 grain bullet. We'll see how close we get to that. But for now, let's yank one out and take a look at one of these heavyweights right here. Here it is, nice and clean. The hollow point isn't really huge. It'll be interesting to see how much this expands, if at all, that's a heavyweight bullet. Of course, you've got your blue sealer there on your primers as per most federal ammo. Looks really good, let's see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 450 Bushmaster, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. And over here, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's take a look at the velocities for those 300 grain heavyweight Federal Power Shocks out of the 450 Bushmaster. Our high was 1839, our low was 1784 and our average was 1811. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that heavyweight 300 grain power shock out of the 450 Bushmaster. I managed to capture two bullets. I fired quite a few more, but they were zipping out the sides of the block, so it is what it is. But I am pleasantly surprised by their performance. You can see right there without even pulling them out of the block that they are both mushroomed beautifully, and these things are hitting pretty slow. Down here at 100 yards, they're probably hitting at around 14 to 1500 feet per second. Not very fast and they are still expanding very very well so federal has done a good job at least matching this bullet to its velocity and penetration wise it looks like we have one at about 19 we'll give it 19 and a half inches and then another at about 21 and a half inches we'll pull them out and take a look but actually first before we pull them out let me go over to the first block and try and take a look at some of the wound tracks there are several wound tracks that are stacked in here so it might be kind of hard to see but they open up pretty quickly about an inch inch and a half in expand out and then start to taper off pretty deep all the way out at 11 12 inches is where they finally start to taper off at and they're just real nice star shaped wound tracks that call it kind of follow shape of the bullet as it expands and they're not like super explosive like you'd see with a 30-06 or something the bullets just aren't going that fast but i'm pretty happy with it for you know the velocity that these things are traveling and here are the recovered bullets from that Federal Power Shock 300 grain jacketed hollow point load out of the 450 Bushmaster. Guys, this stuff did absolutely incredible. Look at that expansion. Let's jump into the metrics here. Weight retention wise, we saw 300 and 298 grains respectively for an average of 299 grains. That's 100% weight retention. Absolutely amazing. Now, I want to point out that these bullets look like fusion bullets. The way that fusion bullets expand, these look kind of like that. Are they fusion bullets? I don't know. It's not branded as fusion ammo. It's branded as power shock. Make of it what you will. Either way, incredible performance on the weight retention front. Now on to expansion. We saw 0.92 and 0.89 inches for an average of 0.91 inches. That's 2x expansion. Now, when we're starting with a 45 caliber bullet right from the get-go and get 2x expansion, that is incredible, especially considering how heavy these are, 300 grains, and they're not going super fast, but we got incredible expansion. I'm really, really liking this load so far. Now, on to velocity. Our high velocity was 1839, our low 
1784. Our average was 1811 versus the factory build velocity of 1900 feet per second. So we did come in 89 feet per second slow, sort of par for the course with factory ammo. Most of the time you don't hit that factory build velocity, but that didn't seem to hinder their performance of this load. We still got incredible expansion and great weight retention. So the low velocity, well lower, it's really not that low compared to a lot of other loads. I'm pretty happy with it and it could definitely be worse. And then penetration wise, we saw 19 and a half and 21 and a half inches for an average of 20 and a half inches of penetration. Now that is on the light side for 450 Bushmaster. No doubt the penetration was hampered by the massive, massive expansion that we saw with these things. So there's always going to be a trade-off. When you get that gigantic, massive expansion, your penetration is going to be hindered somewhat, but we're still right there at that 20 inch mark that I like to see for medium game hunting. And then kinetic energy wise, with a 300 grain bullet going on average 1811 feet per second that works out to 2184 foot pounds of kinetic energy all right y'all time for my final thoughts on these heavyweight federal 300 grain power shocks for the 450 bushmaster this ammo was very surprising i did not expect it to do what it did retaining almost 100 percent of bullet weight one of them was still 300 grains the other was 298 expanded just massive expansion for a 458 Bushmaster 2x expansion these things are starting out big and they're only getting bigger I can't believe it especially at the velocities that we got this is a heavy for caliber bullet well not heavy for caliber heavy for cartridge bullet with a 300 grainer and a 450 Bushmaster and we were still seeing 1811 feet per second and so we got a little bit slower velocity than a lot of other 450 Bushmaster ammo stands to reason it's a real heavy bullet, but we still somehow got that massive expansion. This bullet, whatever bullet is in here, is designed right. And then we came within 100 feet per second of the box spec velocity, 89 feet per second slow on average. We were shooting this out of a 16 inch barreled Ruger American Ranch. If you've got a longer barreled, barreled 450 Bushmaster, one of the CVAs, Ruger number one, one of the Henry single shots, they have longer barrels. No doubt you'll come a lot closer to box spec. I'm actually surprised we weren't slower out of the 16 inch barrel of my Ruger American Ranch. Very happy with the velocity of these heavyweights. Now what was really interesting is the relatively shallow penetration that we got with this load being that it's a heavyweight load. We averaged 20 and a half inches no doubt due to that massive expansion that bullet hits the target it opens up really wide and that just creates so much more resistance it wasn't able to penetrate deeper but this still hit right there at that 20 inch mark i like to see for medium game i would not hesitate to use this stuff on whitetail deer wild hogs i don't know if i do it for black bear i'm not a bear hunter i'm not a black bear hunter so you bear hunters out there, let me know what you would do. I am very surprised with how this stuff performed. Very happy, very pleased. If it shot accurately in my rifle, I'd definitely use it. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel, so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. And lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.